see today, gentlemen. I wanted to. Of we'll, we'll get to it. We'll save that. It'll marinate. We will get to that. But I wanted to start with Chelsea today, gentlemen, because we know they are up for sale, and that news has been confirmed today. Uh, that also uh, by a very very credible source in the Chelsea fan community, Simon Phillips, that Egbali could now also be selling. There's an article that is out. Uh, that um, that has come from these gentlemen that speak about that in detail. So go and check that out. It's un- that is behind a paywall, um, but uh, I think it's definitely worth taking a look at and reading uh, if you want some really good information on Chelsea uh, from their sort of perspective. On top of that situation as well, they're talking about moving stadiums and Chelsea fans are angry. And I'm not going to lie, so am I. I am fuming about this as well. I really, really am. I want to play you all a quick video. If you haven't seen it already, the boys may not have done. Take a little listen to this. Chelsea must never leave Stamford Bridge. And this talk of us potentially moving is really troubling. Since the American venture capitalist billionaires came into Chelsea, they have done nothing but try to erase the soul of the club. No ownership has ever treated the fans worse than this one. They are trying to make us move out of Stamford Bridge. Thank God for the Chelsea pitch owners. Chelsea only exist because of Stamford Bridge. We are a one club ground. Peter Rosgood, our best ever player, his ashes are currently buried underneath the penalty spot at the shed end of Stamford Bridge. And the connection that Chelsea fans have to Stamford Bridge going back generations is something that is simply not for sale. The only motivation to do this is money. And we were told when they took the club over that they were gonna do everything within their power. They were gonna exhaust every avenue to try and preserve our relationship with Stamford Bridge. That hasn't happened. They lied. Buy yourself a share now. Get yourself a Chelsea pitch owner's share now. It's imperative. They tried to do this in 2013 and we won. Looks like we're going to have to fight again. Rory Jennings not happy uh, in any way, shape or form uh, with the potential of leaving Stamford Bridge. This on the backdrop of the owners fighting in public. Bowley versus Todd B, which we will get on to in this Chelsea conversation. But Mo, from your perspective, do you understand some fans being angry at the thought of leaving? I'll caveat this, though, with saying there are a lot of Chelsea fans that don't back this, that say they have to move for the progression of the football club and sentiment and heritage. And to quote Don today, just because some ex-player is buried at the stadium doesn't mean we should stay there. Whose side are you on in this argument surrounding leaving Stamford Bridge? I'm not on anyone's side here. I actually think that it's a, just the club is in shambles completely. The owners want to move because they want to make money. And it's publicly that the Clear Lake see this as a 10 years investment, which means they don't give a fuck about anyone, to be honest. They don't care about the fans. They don't care about you as a Chelsea fan. They don't care about anyone. All they care about is that in, in eight years from now, they sell with a profit. It's an investment fund. Um, Todd Bowley is a minority shareholder. Right, it is so. I don't think he has a big say here. As for the stadium, as Rory Jennings is saying, I actually think he's going over the top. Arsenal left from Highbury, which saw them win a lot of trophies, and they went to the Emirates, and it's not a problem. The Emirates is better. Yes, the Highbury has a lot of uh, history behind it. If there is no space for them, for them to actually improve, uh, um, uh, Stamford Bridge, like Liverpool did with Anfield. Clubs have to evolve, right? So I am not with anyone side. I think Rory Jennings is go- going over the top with all this. Oh my God, Chelsea are Stamford Bridge. No, Arsenal weren't Highbury. That's not true. Um, where Inter wanted to leave San Siro to get a different stadium. Juventus left the Olympico, which w- they were there for years to build their own stadium. Um, so I-, I don't think... I am not on anyone's side. I see both sides. But I actually have to say, both sides are wrong. Rory Jennings is wrong for... Oh my God, Chelsea are Stamford Bridge. No, Chelsea are in Stamford Bridge. The history isn't going to be erased. But also I can see why he's mad because the owners are absolutely... These guys are clowns, bro. They're, they're clearly guys. They're clowns. And I'm going to say this. It's the last thing I'm going to say. Whoever allowed clearly to buy Chelsea from the Premier League just wanted to get rid of Ibramovic because of the political side without looking at the future of Chelsea Football Club. They did not care about who's running the football club as long as it's sold. It is very clear that Clear Lake don't see Chelsea 
as other than anything than just an investment it's pure in eight years we want to sell that's it that's it as simple as that uh, spurs didn't spurs move as well to the new stadium and look at them happy with it look listen it's over the top it's absolutely over the top this oh chelsea are stamford bridge no chelsea are on stamford bridge arsenal weren't hybrid and uh, can, I, can, I, can, I ask you, can, can I ask you a question yeah. about that though? So Tottenham Hotspur rebuilt their stadium on the same on the same uh, pitch, the same place, right? So it's essentially they've just built a new stand around the same pitch. Essentially, they, they've moved it a few inches, but it's the same place. Arsenal were not even from North London originally, so they moved from South London to North London. So the point Rory's making, he actually said we're a one ground club, uh, a one club ground. What he meant to say is we're a one ground club. So they've always been there. They've never been anywhere else. Therefore, it's imperative that they exhaust every single avenue to stay. So I understand the Arsenal example and the Tottenham example, but they're not the same. Arsenal have already moved once before they joined, They went to Highbury. So it wasn't as if it wasn't within their history to move locations. Chelsea, some Chelsea fans really want to stay, and they have a, a, a sentimental and a, and a real attachment. that, In their eyes, their greatest ever player, Osgood, his ashes are buried underneath the penalty spot at the shed end of the stadium. And for a lot of football fans, that element of culture, that element of heritage matters more than growing revenues. It matters more than having a new shiny stadium. And by the way, it will be an amazing stadium. There's no doubt. Do, do you understand that perspective from Chelsea fans? I actually like if, if they're going to move, they have to, they have to evolve. There is no space. You have to evolve. You, you will build new history in the new, in the new stadium. I get it. This, the, the history will never be erased. I, I don't get this, to be honest. By the way, if this was Abramovich, people would not have had the same reaction. But because it's the new owners, because of what is going on in the background, we are That's seeing this true, reaction. Romo. That's not true. It is true. They had the same reaction in 2013, which shows you that they actually believe what they're saying. By the way, I completely agree with Rory Jennings. I'm one of the football fans that absolutely loves the emotional side of football. I think it's one of the things that makes our sport great. Um, I, I agree with Rory 100%. I wouldn't want to move away from Anfield regardless. Um, you know, I don't care if there's a 150,000 seater stadium across the, the road at Stanley Park. I don't want that. I want Anfield and Anfield only because, listen, I, I get it from a financial perspective and talking about match day revenue and making more money and stuff like that. But the stadium and, and, and all these things, they matter. Whether people like it or not, they matter. They have a meaning. There's an emotional attachment to it. There's a history. There's iconic moments attached to it. So we cannot just, you know, um, act like there is no sentimental meaning behind it. And and by the way, Rory Jennings is 100% correct. All, all Clown Lake, I'm not even going to call them clearly, like all Clown Lake have done is basically, essentially, destroy the soul of Chelsea Football Club. They haven't really done anything positive for Chelsea Football Club. They haven't really done anything, you know, that Chelsea fans should be proud about, to be honest with you. After spending 1.5 billion, they've not got a single one world-class recognized player. They don't have anyone that's like top, top, top level. They haven't built a quality team. This is all about the money. That's why they're, they're doing this eight-year contract, nine-year contract stuff. And if you take away Stamford Bridge as well, it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird because it, it's funny Mo mentioned Highbury. Highbury was the last time Arsenal was successful. I bet you right now, if you ask some Arsenal fans, would they trade, would they give back the Emirates to have Highbury? A lot of them would say yes. No, move, moving has nothing to do with them winning or not. So yeah, I, I think it does. I'll tell you why. Because specifically Arsenal, when they moved stadium at that time, they didn't have enough money to move stadium and spend money. So they had to sell that's, their best That's play. called mismanagement. It has nothing to do with the stadium being built or not. Oh, really? So the same ownership that mismanaged the squad, I'm supposed to believe, are not going to mismanage a stadium being built. Yes. Yeah, see, I, see, now we're on the same page. Okay. I said that the clown leg guys, the people that run the club, are absolutely wrong now in the current time. Now we see what's going on. But that has nothing to do, to do with them to see. Can I ask a simple question? So should mm. Chelsea stay with the same stadium even if there is no place to increase the, uh, to improve the stadium? You at Anfield, Liverpool at Anfield, had the spaces to improve. Right, you don't think they should move? And let me ask another question then. In the San Siro, actually, uh, in Inter now, there is a basic, basic now problem with the foundation of the stadium, right? 
don't you think and there is no way they, they can't find a way to fix it don't you think at that time they'll have to move the stadium there has to be a like no, what is the state? I'm gonna and ask you something. What if Chelsea no Stadium is only 25? Bro, you're very sentimental for no reason, actually. I am sentimental. Anfield, of course, course, you're sentimental as for no reason. Anfield, listen, you are you are absolutely at the end, you're putting the club towards the the club has history, regardless of the stadium. Regardless of the, by the way, what if it shows the stadium only holds 40,000? You as Liverpool fans would not accept if your stadium only has 40,000 and your global family and is increasing 40, 40, and people are... And before the expansion... And, and, you, had, and you had the, you had the place and to, to increase it, right? If Chelsea... I'm not about moving the stadium for Chelsea, but if Chelsea don't have space, I don't know the actual engineering of the stadium... And where actually the stadium is. I saw the stadium. I went there. But I don't know if there is a place to improve the stadium. If there is no place to improve the stadium, what do you want Chelsea to do? As a football club, Camp Nou improved. Uh, Real Madrid, of course, with the Bernabeu, improved. Anfield, improved. Arsenal, improved. Tottenham Hotspur, improved. Man City, improved. But you don't see the room to improve. If there is no room to improve, I'm not an engineer, right? I'm not an engineer. If there is no room to improve, do you always want to have the bigger stadium than Chelsea? Do you want Tottenham Hotspur to have the bigger stadium than Chelsea? I'm not an engineer. You are, right? So you tell me, what do you want Chelsea fans to do? To stay 45,000 people? That doesn't make any sense to me. It doesn't. Are you done with your rant now? It's not a rant. It's a response to you. Your veins are popping. How you are gaslighted. Yeah, every time you're defeated in an argument, See? you say oh, my I veins are point. You every time. I'm it's smiling. I'm okay. I don't care yeah. about chess. You know you're smiling. There is no answer for this. There is the no answer, answer for this. Is, it's very the simple. An I already answered it. Okay, خلاص مو خلاص رصيدك. خلينا نحكي. The answer is the following. When it comes to football. Don't, no, 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 no. Don't, don't tell me my credit is over. Don't. Okay, you can keep speaking then. I'll no, don't you. tell me my credit is over. No, no. You actually, you keep saying my veins are popping without actually responding. Tell me to respond, stop no. and you... Is he lagging out or is it just me? You lagged out, by the I, way. Yes, for some reason, the internet yeah. is... Corey Jennings me. hacked your internet. Anyway, um, here's here is my thing. Listen, Mo always looks at things from a logical perspective. Mo always looks at things from like a numbers perspective, from a money perspective. I'm a more sentimental fan. I'm a more emotional fan. This is normal. Like I, I just don't think that Chelsea should move away from the bridge. I don't think that, you know, they should do that, to be honest with you. And I think at the end of the day, look, if they can find a way to expand Stamford Bridge, fair enough. But Listen, Todd Bowley, Igbali, and this ownership has been nothing but a disgrace, to be honest with you, to the Chelsea fans, to the Chelsea ownership. And the reason why Chelsea, the Stamford Bridge, is going to be difficult to move away from is because of the fact that the fans own the pitch. This is one thing that many, many people are not talking about. So even if Todd Bowley is right, it's just never going to happen. It's never going to happen. If you're talking about money, if you're talking about all of that type of stuff, at the end of the day, the TV revenue alone it's probably four or five times the amount of, of, of match day revenue extra that they're going to make. That's why the Bayern owners, even when they came out and said, listen, if we increase, tic if we increase ticket prices, it's not going to make a grand scheme of difference to us. This is the same thing with increasing the amount of people that attend. I mean, Anfield have now 60,000 instead of 44,000. It's not like we're spending so much money because we increase the capacity. But there is an emotional attachment. There is there is something behind the stadium. There is success. There's a lot. And when it comes to, to even, once again, you mentioned the Arsenal example. Arsenal's most successful era did come at Highbury. They did get the bigger stadium and the more beautiful stadium and all that shit. And at the end of the day, it meant nothing. And once again, I'll make the point that I made the last time. I'll say it again. Why should Chelsea fans trust the same owners that fucked up a squad to not fuck up a stadium? Uh, and this is a really...